Okay, I made it. Here I am, and I'm in closer. You can't see a thing with my camera. I'm just telling you, I had a uh, great time getting in here, and now I'm just gonna pay attention to the music. So over and out, and have a good night. Hey, welcome to the School of Mind. Uh, this is an idea that was incepted a long time ago, and I'm hoping to bring it into a space in the community. I'm really hoping that space in the community will help people set objectives, a little bit of a healing exercise, but also some fun with design. So what you're hearing is this. It's uh, Guadalava. It's uh, from Holoquin, Cuba. One of my precious pieces, pieces that I enjoy making music with. It has a very solid sound and the hollow adds for some sound vibration. So that's the first sound you're hearing. Second, I have a broken cymbal right here. That was from, has a great story behind it. We used to have a garage band back in the day when I was a little bit um, younger. And, I'm not sad at my age. And one of the drummers, he would often go through cymbals. So this. the sound effectively when you put that in the center. Did you see how it changed the sound? So there are some ideas about this and I'm using a paintbrush. They do use wooden sticks, so that's a little bit of a sound game for you. Next, and not last of all, least of all, and I hope my roommate is okay with this. Um, what we do sometimes is because he has an art side too, we work together on paintings. So he'll leave a space or I leave a space. And I'm just gonna show you quickly this because I don't know how it's going to feel. And I'll show you that this was my space here that I added. And I love working like that on the same canvas with someone else because it's really, really, really challenging. Uh, this is another canvas piece. Um, I bought that one from the fringe and then I added mine to it. And uh, because I actually purchased it, I'm feeling like it's totally legitimate to... Um, work on it. She had left two big spaces there and it is my purchase and because I am a bona fide artist <laughs> uh, certainly I'd be allowed to do that. My roommate gave the idea of the um, more universal kind of mm, spacey out of aluminum. He gave me that one and then of course there's some photographs. So very interesting place here because we try to find things to do that are playful fun but also exploratory search quest yeah. and just okay so now i'm going to play the piano and i'm going to try and put the drum and the cymbal together first and then i'll play for you and um I don't mind me it's just friday night and i'm relaxing but i'm certainly not wearing anything like i'm blah 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 anyway um i'm comfortable in my apartment and i like cymbals all right it's a little bit harder. Oops, it's my offbeat. See that? Sometimes I miss it by just a shade. Let's try it again. Mm. Maybe I better not use the paintbrush. It's better the other way. And to be honest, I'm really nervous when I actually know the camera long to make something. So sorry. Uh, no, it's not working. That's all right because you had the other sound. The other one that I first gave you separately, it was good. <laughs> I actually hate you when I do that. All right, let's do this one. Hmm? Yeah, so using the paintbrush.
And this is a terrible, horrible picture of me. I just wish I could start. Back when I was, <laughs> when I was a model. No, I never was a model. Back when I was teaching, um, uh, I was teaching aerobics classes for women in an aerobics center, which is very fun. We did this kind of glamour thing. They came in, and, and my boss, she was pretty cool. And it was one of those things she set up for all us instructors. So we would have this picture of ourselves. But it's really kind of funny because I'm not like this at all and they look at what makeup can do. But don't you be fooled because it's not that fun to always be, you know, gossied up like that. And, and that was much in my younger days as well. But I like my hair, it's kind of poofy. And they did our hair and everything. And we laughed and giggles and had a great time. And, and my boss just did that as a way of kind of thanking us for all the work we did freelance in, in aerobics instructing and in all the classes we did for the many people in our community. So that was a really nice thing she did since it was for women and it was a women's center. So it was kind of nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that version of School of Mind, original pieces. Um, I'm going off now to do some painting because my bike was stolen today, much to my chagrin. And can you seriously believe that, that someone would steal my bike? And I was hoping it would be my transport because I, I'm trying to get a little bit away from my car, although I enjoy my car because it extends my reach. But I'm one of those people that rarely use it. So I thought, oh, why me? And we all say that. Why did I be the one that got my bike stolen? And I was, I was in the doctor's office of all things. Like, who steals your bike when you're in the doctor's office? Who does that? It's mean. Sorry, I hope I'm not showing too much. It's mean. Like, why would you do that? I mean, I can understand if you were, you know, maybe in the shopping in a, a cosmetic store or I don't know, or you're just kind of having a relaxing time, but you're in a doctor's office, which means it's all bloody, probably something that's stressful that you're dealing with. Anyway, um, I'm not looking nuts, I'm just acting because that's part of my creative expression. So hopefully you're going to stay on site and understand how the mind really works and give permissions as long as nobody's hurting anyone and as long as we're uh, all kind of respecting each other and artists are often pigeonholed in actors because they're goofy. So <laughs> I hope you like this. <laughs> 